Hello and welcome to our video presentation titled AI Assisted Product Backlog Development. In today's fast paced digital world, efficiency and precision are key to successful project management, especially in the realm of software development. In this video, we're going to showcase a groundbreaking approach to developing a product backlog. We are integrating the power of AI, particularly ChatGPT, into this crucial phase of project management. This method isn't just innovative, it's a game changer in terms of time saving and accuracy. We will demonstrate how ChatGPT can assist breaking down high level epics into detailed actionable user stories. Imagine the hours saved and the increase in efficiency when AI takes over the heavy lifting of dissecting complex epics and translating them into user-friendly stories. Moreover, we will illustrate the use of Moscow method, a prioritization technique seamlessly integrated into this process. This method helps in identifying what's essential for the minimum viable product and what can be scheduled for later phases, ensuring a focused and strategic approach to backlog development. Product development in Agile starts with high-level concepts that ignites the inception of a new product. This leads to product vision that outlines our goals, defines our targets, steering our development efforts. Vision then gets translated into actionable chunks of work referred to as epics, and finally into a prioritized list of tasks in the form of user stories that form the product backlog from which the development team will plan and execute their work. As a product owner responsible for the product backlog, you decide which features and items go into the product backlog and how to group them. Now let's see what we have discussed in action. In my role as a product owner, I was asked with designing a product backlog for a restaurant's online ordering system. To facilitate this, customers are required to enter their details including payment information, to obtain a customer number, which enables them to log in and place orders. The goal was to create a prioritized product backlog, categorizing items into two key aspects, type of work and business value. The purpose of this backlog is to guide the development of both elements of the website layout. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that we need to do is to tell ChatGPT what the position is that it is assuming. In this case, it is product owner. And then the situation that it is handling or it is working within. So let's give it that one. Okay, the situation is a restaurant with modern cuisine that customers can order online for collection and delivery. Customers need to enter details including payment details to get a customer number to enable them to log in and place order. Now, okay, what is the task? So what should ChatGPT do? So we give it the task that it should uh, undertake. The task is to design a product backlog for, a, for the functional and non-functional aspects of a website layout for implementation of the project outlined in the situation above. Obviously, we wanted to give us the results in the format that we would like to see. So let's ask it that, how we want the format to be output. Okay, it will use these two categories, type of work, business value, and display the results in tabular format. Now let's see the results. First, it will explain that it is doing what it is doing, and then, as you can see, it tabulates the results as we asked it to, which is very useful. 
in the traditional days uh, or using traditional methods, this will take some time to do. But as you can see, ChatGPT is doing it for us in a matter of minutes. Okay, it has given us 15 uh, items. Okay, now let's examine what it has given us. It has given us the priority, the type of work description, and business value. Do not take what it throws at you at its face value. Examine it to see whether it meets your requirements or is fit for the purpose. So in this case, I mean, if you, as you see at the bottom, it says ChatGPT can make mistakes. Consider checking important information. Now, when you look at it uh, from here, it says the first priority is to use, uh, to do the user interface. But we haven't got a website. It hasn't considered uh, having a website, the infrastructure, the landing page, and uh, the uh, layout of the landing page. So user faces probably is a bit too ambitious to be the first choice. So let's go and ask it or question what it has given us. Okay, how can we have user interface design while we have not allowed for web pages or even a landing page? Let's see whether it accepts our objection or rejects it or how it will react. Okay, in this case, it says you are correct. So it accepted our objection and it is redoing the uh, product backlog and uh, doing the epics for a high level uh, product backlog list of items. Okay, let's scroll up and look at the items that it has created for us, probably not definitely with higher priority. As you can see, it has come up uh, with priority number one, web page creation, then user interface design, which is acceptable. I would say that's a better way of approaching the problem or the situation rather than suddenly start talking about the user interface design um, <clears throat> right so we have got a high level set of epics to go into our uh, product backlog Now, usually, yeah, we don't jump in, jump in at the deep end and suddenly you start implementing and developing uh, the whole website in one go or any project in one go. The usual practice is that you have a minimum viable product to start the project off or the implementation or the development. And that is the case we are going to practice here. We are going to ask uh, ChatGPT to give us a high level set of epics for our product backlog uh, so that we can develop a minimum viable product. We also ask it to apply Moscow method to prioritize user stories that uh, we could have in our product backlog. Moscow stands for must have, should have, could have, and won't have. So let's ask it that. Okay, we have based on the above functional and non-functional list of items, produce a uh, list of uh, backlog items for MVP and apply Moscow method. Okay, let's have a look at the results and what it throws at us.
okay, now it has given us a set of uh, high level uh, uh, epics that uh, we could use to develop a minimum viable product. Again, don't accept everything that it throws at you. Go and examine it in detail and see if it actually is what you expect. And uh, re ask it to restructure if you think it does need restructuring. But we are not uh, exercising development of a restaurant uh, website. Uh, so we are not going to go into details there. This is just to display and show how it could be done. As you can see, it, ha it has applied Moscow method and has listed must-haves, should-haves, could-haves, and won't-haves. Now let's do a final example of how one of these epics can be broken down into a user story to go into the product backlog uh, so that it can be pulled into the sprint planning and developed by the developers. This is just example of one of the epics. Obviously, if you're uh, doing the whole project, you need to do that for all the epics. Uh, and uh, we are not going to do that. It's well beyond the scope of our time for this display. So let's ask it that. Break down the user account management epic into more detailed user stories in the format of as a customer, I want to so that I the result that you expect. Include acceptance criteria for each user story and display in tabular format. So let's have a look at the results. Okay, now it has given us the user story as a customer. I want to create an account on the website so that I can place orders and view my order history. And these are the uh, acceptance criteria. You might actually, once you give it that, sometimes it gives you the same thing, the same result, but in a sort of, it might actually display it slightly differently. But that is what you would expect. Obviously, you need to edit it and put it in your product backlog. It is important to note that what we have demonstrated here is not an exhaustive product backlog development. It gives us just about 60% of the way to a solid product backlog. But remember, there is still a crucial 40% left. That is where you, as the product owner, come in. You will need to take this AI assistant start and really make it your own. Chat with your team, consult with stakeholders, and tweak things until they fit just right for your project. It's all about adding that personal touch and ensuring everything aligns perfectly with what your users need and your project goals. By following these steps, you create a dynamic and adaptable product backlog that guides the development of an MVP. It allows you to focus on delivering essential functionality while remaining responsive to user feedback and evolving project requirements. This methodical approach ensures that the product backlog is comprehensive, focused, and aligned with the strategic goal for the MVP. It facilitates a clear roadmap for development and sets a stage for successful implementation and future enhancement. And thank you for tuning in and watching our content. We appreciate your time and engagement. Please comment, like, subscribe and share your views with us and fellow viewers. Thank you for being a part of our online community.